Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Retirement SOS. I'm Ernie. And I'm Beth. And Beth, it's hard to believe, but it's October. We actually have our furnace on for the first time this year. Uh, the weather is getting cooler. We're starting to see the Halloween decorations. A lot leaves of are changing. Leaves are changing. So we thought we would tackle a question today. And it's about money and retirement. So what else is new? So today's question is, if you live in a big city in Canada, can you retire with $750,000 in savings? And we're going to work that out. And what we've done is we've made up a mythical couple named Tom and Jill. And Tom is 65. And Jill is 62. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we're going to work it out, correct? Right. We're not experts. Um, we're just taking a stab at this. We're not financial planners. So to get a true picture of retirement investments, a financial planner is the way to go. But this is just an exercise. Yeah, just an interesting exercise. And uh, we'll have an answer at the end of it. But we're going to have some raw numbers. Let's look at their revenue stream. Their combined CPP or Canada Pension yearly comes to $20,800. Jill will collect CPP early at 62. OAS or Old Age Security for Tom will come to $7,380 yearly. Their estimated return on their $750,000 investment will be $45,000 if we estimate a 6% return, which gives them a total combined income of $73,180. And that 6% return is considered a conservative return, which is equaling $45,000. What Tom and Jill are trying to do is they're trying to protect the principal amount of their initial savings, which is $750,000 for the first few years of their retirement. So now let's look at their yearly expenses. We base these on living in a large expensive city in North America, like ours, Toronto. Their property taxes, 9,000 per year, utilities, 5,500, car, 6100 income tax 15000 cell phone internet and cable 3000 clothing 3500 groceries 10500 gifts and entertainment 6000 travel and travel insurance 9300 and miscellaneous 5000 hopefully we didn't forget anything and that comes to a total of $72,900 so based on these numbers, the conclusion is that, uh, yes, they can retire, but the downside is they will not have much uh, money in savings at the end of the year. So uh, our recommendation would be for one or both of them to uh, maybe find part-time work just to buff up their savings. Yeah, especially when um, you know, they're still living in a, in a big house so maybe, you know, we were thinking that perhaps maybe they should get, one of them should get a job for maybe three or four years, then downsize. And once they downsize, they're going to get all the equity out of their paid house. So they'll have a lot more in terms of cash flow. They can, you know, buy something less expensive and they'll increase their savings. So it's just going to be a little bit tough uh, for like, for example, with, um, with Tom being 65, I'd say it's going to be a little bit tight between ages 65 and 69. But as I said, once they get rid of their house, things are going to get a lot better. And we wish the mythical Tom and Jill good luck <laughs> in their retirement. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or even subscribing to the channel. So until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.